don't think you know anything about the universe. Today, we'll expose seven startling facts that will alter the way you perceive the vast and enigmatic cosmos. Are you prepared for an extraordinary adventure into the cosmological mysteries and horrors? Welcome to our channel then. Astrophysicists made more discoveries in the expanse of the universe between 2010 and 2019 than ever before. Albert Einstein foresaw many of the findings that are now regarded as remarkable. The dawn of astronomy's golden age is upon us. Many scientists and academics have that view. Please keep in mind the thumbs up icon if you want to leave Earth with us and venture to the furthest reaches of space. Keep an eye out for new things we have in store for you. Start the journey now, the unusual echo of the cosmos. Does the universe have an information carrying echo? The universe's oldest light is more than 13 billion years old. This light contains a photon that dates back to the Big Bang. The Big Bang's residual plasma cooled and turned transparent. Although they are becoming ever fainter, photons from this period do contain information about the state of the early cosmos. The cosmic microwave background is now made up of them. The universe is surrounded by a sea of weak radiation. A test was developed by a research team. They were curious about the transmission of such information. The researchers conjured up the idea of someone communicating with the future through a sequence of echoes from various locations in the early universe. An effective messenger employed a stringing coding of zero and one to accomplish this. Such echoes move more slowly than light in the absence of attenuation. As a result, echoes can travel farther and carry more information than photons. Martin Martino's study team sought to demonstrate that an intelligent being might exploit this event to communicate far more data than a straightforward radio broadcast. Naturally, the chance of such communication with advanced alien civilizations from the past is slim. But cosmologists might find the idea behind finding these echoes in this way useful. These echoes also spread knowledge about background signals from the early universe. It's crucial to ascertain the precise shape that the echoes will take. This poses a significant issue, as does figuring out how to make receivers that can detect the echoes. It's an intriguing notion, but according to Harvard University employee Avi Lapp, remains quite theoretical. It would be necessary for researchers and authors to provide particular examples of their observations that may be taken into consideration. Nearby to the planet, 13 wandering black holes have been discovered. In the universe's dwarf galaxies, 13 large wandering black holes have been found by astronomers. The discovery of brand new roaming monsters is currently being discussed by many of these same astronomers. Emmy Raines of Montana State University and her group from the U.S. National Radio Astronomy Observatory detailed the information in an article that was published in the Astrophysical Journal. Less than a billion light years separate us from these black holes. In galaxies 100 times more massive than the Milky Way, they have been discovered. They are some of the tiniest black holes ever discovered. Their mass on average is almost 400,000 times that of the Sun. Half of these 13 black holes, according to researcher Rains, are not, as is typically the case, found at the galaxy center. Computer modulation also revealed that these galaxies underwent early mergers with other galaxies, and that roughly 50% of the black holes in their host galaxies will travel to the galaxy's periphery. What is cannibalism of the stars? Renowned astronomers Pura Graga Takurda and David Reitzel from the Universities of California, Santa Cruz, and Los Angeles, respectively, gained fresh understanding of the phenomenon known as galactic cannibalism in 2003. In the sky, they discovered massive spiral galaxies that grew by engulfing smaller companion galaxies. A faint star trail in the nearby Andromeda galaxy served as proof of this. These stars are most likely enormous traces of debris left over from Andromeda, and another smaller galaxy's long-ago merger. Galactic cannibalism is the process through which a giant galaxy combines with a companion galaxy owing to gravitational tidal interaction to generate a larger galaxy. It was possible to spot some galaxies at various stages of the merger process. They appear to be cannibalizing one another. However, this is not a galactic collision where most of the original shapes of the galaxies are preserved. All of these phenomena are in line with the most recent galaxy models developed by astronomers and other space agencies like NASA. Galaxies are thought to expand as a result of gathering nearby dwarf galaxies and tiny dark matter holes. The so-called parent galaxy's enormous halo can cause gravitational tidal forces to tear the dwarf galaxies apart if they approach it too closely. Such brilliant streams continue. The huge and small Magellanic clouds are remnants and the primary proof for the original event which is now thought to reside outside the Milky Way's bounds. 
gravitational pull and hydrogen streams from these dwarf galaxies entering the Milky Way provide evidence. It is also possible that our galaxy and the nearby Andromeda galaxy will collide, which might have disastrous effects. A star from the Milky Way was thrown out by a black hole. A brand new star identified as S5 HES1 is presently roughly 20,000 light years away from our planet. The star left the galactic center at a speed of 4 million miles per hour. It is currently moving towards the depths of intergalactic space and passing near the star Grass or Crane in the southern hemisphere of the sky. The study was carried out by a group of astronomers at the Carnegie Institute Observatory under the direction of Gumley Walls. A spectroscopic scan of the southern stellar stream, S5, led to the discovery of the star. It is a star that is 10 times brighter and nearly twice as massive as our Sun. The star was followed by astronomers to the galaxy center, which contains the Sagittarius black hole, a 4 million sun mass gravitational monster. It is thought to be a star that originally belonged to a twin star system and blasted out of the black hole. The star collapsed and was sucked away at extreme speed when the system approached the black hole too closely. This three-body gravitational dance allegedly took place 5 million years ago, according to Dr. Peace and her team. In 100 million years, the star will also leave the Milky Way. At more than 1,000 kilometers per second, the speedy star is traveling twice as fast as most fastballs and 10 times faster than most stars. Dark Energy Nearly a century ago, the first evidence for dark matter began to emerge. Fried Swicky, a Swiss astronomer, was examining the movement of galaxies within their coma, or galactic cluster. The movements, though, were too quick. Due to the gravity of the galaxy clusters, visible matter like dust, gas, and stars could not remain there, due to the assumption that there is a significant quantity of unseen mass, which should also be in charge of maintaining the cohesiveness between celestial bodies, this occurrence was explained. The foreground light in a galaxy cluster is distorted due to the mass present. The distortion reveals the spread of this mass. Gravitational lensing is a distinction between a certain mass and observable matter. Dark matter has not yet been shown to exist though. Only by its own gravitational interaction with regular matter does dark matter seem to be visible. The dynamics of galaxy clusters and the gravitational lensing effect cannot be described by visible matter alone when the accepted equations of gravity are used. The universe's biggest black hole, the largest black hole ever found and measured is 40 billion times more massive than the Sun or around 66% the size of all the stars in the Milky Way. It is situated in Hohn 15 an elliptical galaxy. It is a supermassive galaxy that developed from the collision of at least eight smaller galaxies. Abel 85 is a group of galaxies with Hohn 15 at its heart. On the basis of a picture of the stars in Hohn 15 a model was produced. The stars are revolving around a black hole in a galaxy. Scientists determined the black hole's mass using the model, and they reported their findings in an astrophysics publication, Higgs Bazin or the God Particle. The Nobel Prize in Physics was awarded to Robert Broth, Francois Glaire, and Peter Hicks in 2013. They introduced the Hicks mechanism, a completely new theory, in 1964. Its purpose was to describe the mass of fundamental particles. Their hypothesis was supported by the finding of a new particle in June 2012. The idea completed the particle physics standard model. The first section of the model says that there are 12 elementary particles that make up all of the visible matter in the cosmos. Three forces combine to generate the second component. Strong, weak, and electromagnetic interactions are these. Particles can also convey these three forces. This implies that particles exist in both matter and forces. The intrinsic angular momentum of force carriers is one. Half of this amount is the inherent angular momentum of the matter particles. With particle gas pedals, all matter particles and interactions may be precisely measured. However, the higgs boson particle, a crucial third element, was found much later. Two of Higgs coworkers modified the definition of the mass property. The Higgs field, or the Higgs boson, is a quantum of the Higgs field. This field takes up the entire area. When interacting with this field, all components of a particle with mass influence experience some degree of slowing. Depending on how tightly they are bonded to the field, the apparent mass rises. In the end, the calculations produced clear outcomes. The freshly discovered Higgs boson particle must have some connection to the Higgs field. The universe was created in a space that is many billions of times larger than the space we know today. Astrophysicist studies will advance as space does as well. Without the extreme size of the cosmos, subsequent generations of scholars will solve a great deal more secrets.
and these discoveries will lead to a host of brand new inquiries. Please feel free to leave a comment if you would want to share your knowledge on this subject. We'll talk soon.